Okay, Mom, so I've got the document that you sent me, and I'm going to show you how to fix problems with page numbers and how to make the numbers automatically update themselves. First thing we want to do, because uh, all these things in the document are kind of hidden, we want to make some of this stuff viewable. So if you go to the Home tab in Word, and then you go find the symbol here, the paragraph symbol, this will show all these hidden things that are in the in the document uh, so this is the paragraph symbol and here's a tab so on and so forth and if we go down to the footer and just do page down here then we find the numbering here and you see the section break tells you that whatever section this page is in stops right here and then we start a new one on this next page and it has a different footer 4.2 so I'm gonna go find a section where I know there's a problem and that's section 4.8 okay so we go up we see this is 4.7 go down here it's a new section should be 4.8 but problem is we don't have a, a page number so we want to add a field that will give us the number of the page number but just the page number for the section not the page number for the entire document so to do that I just put the period there and now I need to insert a field. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and then over here we've got header and footer and here's page number that's what we want. So we'll click on page number we don't want to put it at the top or bottom or in the margin we're just going to put it in the current position where my cursor is right now and we'll just put a plain simple number that's all we need. So there it is problem is it's giving us 12 which is I believe the number of the uh, of the pages in this document and not the page number for this section alone so now that we're in this section what we can do is we can tell it to stop using uh, stop continuing from other sections and just use the page number for this section so to do that we go back up to page number go down to format page numbers right now it's set to continue the numbers from the previous section we don't want that so we'll change it to start at one and now you see it's changed to one uh, looks like it put in a little space there we go looks good now so if I go down to the next page which is still in the same section what we should see is 4.8.2 and there it is okay now somewhere I saw there's a section break in this document but you continue the same section so I want to pause the video and find that and show that to you show you how to fix that okay so here it is you can see this is the footer for section 13 and then it skips to section 14 down here but this is not really a new section you're just continuing what's here the problem is there's this section break right in between them we can only see that because we we clicked on that one icon that looks like this we clicked on this thing so now we can see the section break and uh, let's see we can't edit this because we're in the footer so we need to get ourselves out of this footer and there we are let's see that was section 4.9 I think let's find that again here it is 
4.9 and there's this section break that we don't want. So I'm going to try to highlight this and then hit the delete button and now that's gone and we don't need this paragraph here so try to delete that alright and now it flows from uh, one section into the next it doesn't change sections here so this is 4.9.2 the next page should be 4.9.3 let's make sure it is No, it's not. It's 4.9.2. So it looks like these numbers were put in by hand. They're just simple numbers. It's not a it's not a field that's going to update itself. So let's go to the first page in the section and change it from a number to a special field. Okay. So here's where the section starts and here's the footer so take out that 2 go to insert page number current position plane number and it's showing us 3 that's not what we want so now let's format the page number to start at 1 for this section instead of continuing from the previous section and now it's 4.9.1 let's take a look at the next page should be 4.9.2 and there it is 4.9.2 and then we begin a new section which is 4.10 this one doesn't have a field so let's insert that field insert page number current position plane number it's giving us three that's not what we want format page numbers start at one and there we have it we go down to the next page there's 4.10.2 so it's automatically doing it so it looks like in most of these sections that's how the numbering was done um, oops. instead of inserting a dynamic field that's going to change when you add a new page it's just a regular old number typed in there and that means that um, when you add a new page, let me just scroll up a second, see if I can. Here we go. If I were to add a new page right here, see that's 4.9.2 in this one, and then the new page is 4.9.3 that only works because this isn't really a number three typed in here yep. if I could, this is actually a special field alright so I'll undo what I just did take out that page break and there we go Alright, so that's the basics to page numbering and section breaks and all that stuff.